Prince Harry and Meghan should support King's coronation, according to the U.S. Ambassador. The U.S. Ambassador to the United Kingdom has expressed hope that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will put aside family differences and support King Charles III for his coronation. Appearing on the British-based news agent's political podcast on Thursday, Jane Hadley, who has been the American ambassador in Britain since 2022, spoke about the California-based faction of the royal family and her thoughts on King Charles's coronation celebrations. Charles will be crowned in a historic ceremony today at London's Westminster Abbey alongside Queen Camilla. Among the congregation will be a number of royal family members, including Prince Harry, but Buckingham Palace announced last month that Meghan would not be coming to the coronation. The ceremony will mark the first time that Harry will be publicly reunited with his family since the publication of his bombshell memoir spare and the release of his six-part Netflix docu series Harry and Meghan. Both the Prince and Meghan were critical of the royal family members and their staff in their projects laying bare the widely reported rift with Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton. We have lent you a couple of your loyals, of your royals, the Hollywood royals, Harry and Meghan broadcaster and news agents podcast host Emily Matthias said to Hadley on the show's latest episode. I wonder how much support you feel they have in the US. Do you think they are seen as a new generation or a disaster? After stating that she had been in Britain for the past year and not the US, Hadley responded, listen, I've said this before. Every family has their issues. You know, I just hope that for this coronation, there is support for the king. That's what I would want from them. That is from Harry and Meghan. Matlis clarified from them. Yes, support for the king. Hadley said, elaborating on the conversation, co-host John Sopel asked whether the couple were a lightning conductor, taking support away from Charles with the project and interviews that they have done since leaving the royal family in 2020. To this, Hadley responded that. Harry and Meghan received less media coverage in the US than people in Britain may assume. I mean, if you look at our media, look at our New York Times, look at our Washington Post, whatever, I mean, they are not getting that much coverage, to be very honest with you. The coverage right now really is about the coronation. The coverage right now is about what the UK is doing with us in terms of Ukraine. The coverage right now is the alliance that President Joe Biden has put together. So you are not seeing them in mainstream media if you want to know the truth, in my view. Hatley's comments came as she notably sidestepped the question over whether Harry and Meghan had damaged the relationship between the UK and the US. In January 2023, following the release of the media projects which contained criticisms of the royal family, appearing on the BBC Network Sunday with Laura, with Laura Kainsberg, Hatley swerved being drawn in on Harry and Meghan and insisted responded by praising King Charles, who she said has done so much good. Hadley is not believed to be attending the King's coronation on May 6. Instead, First Lady Jill Biden will represent the US President, having flown out to London from DC on Thursday. Harry's attendance at a coronation ceremony is expected to be brief, with reports suggesting that he will return to his California home soon afterwards to be reunited with Meghan and the couple's two children. Coronation Day itself is also the couple's son, Archie's fourth birthday.